Harry Bailey, Wikipedia Audio Harry Richard Bailey was an Australian psychiatrist and hospital administrator. He bore the primary responsibility for treatment of mental patients and drug-dependent clients via deep sleep therapy and other method at a mental hospital in the Sydney North Shore suburb of Pennant Hills, he was its principal. The treatment has been linked with the deaths of a total of 85 patients, including 19 who committed suicide. Bailey committed suicide while he was investigated. One of Bailey's clients was Australian rock and pop singer and songwriter Stevie Wright, who was being treated for methadone addiction, a report that was later part of a 2013 documentary on Australian Story. Bailey was born in Picton, New South Wales, to Jack Nelson Bailey, a station master and railway officer, and Ruth Kathleen Bailey, Nay Smith. He attended Christian Brothers College, Waverley, then enrolled in science at the University of Sydney in 1940. He did not complete his studies and took a position as a pharmacist's assistant. He went back to study medicine at Sydney University, graduating in medicine 1951, and in psychiatry in 1954. He was awarded the Norton Manning Memorial Prize for Psychiatry and the Major Ian Vickery Prize for Pediatrics. From December 1954, he spent 15 months on a World Health Organization fellowship in the North America and Europe, where he observed the sedation techniques, psychosurgery and electroconvulsive therapy methods of Ewan Cameron in Canada. William Sargant in the UK and Lars Lexell in Sweden. Early Life and Training Whereas most of his compatriots who specialised in psychiatry sought out their advanced further training in Britain, Bailey worked in Louisiana with Robert Heath of Tulane University. He also studied electroconvulsive therapy and surgical and pharmacological care under Sir William Trethowen and Cedric Howell Swanton back in Australia. Bailey had shunned psychoanalysis also known as the talking cure as a treatment for psychiatric problems, and instead chose to focus on what he deemed to be more conventionally practical and pragmatic treatments like drug therapy and psychosurgery. In 1952 Bailey was Assistant Director of Clinical Psychiatry for the Public Health Service. Between 1962 and 1979, he served as Chief Psychiatrist at Chelmsford Private Hospital, Pennant Hills, northwest of Sydney. Under his care, 26 Chelmsford patients died. The last of the deaths occurred in the early hours of August 12, 1977. DST was Bailey's invention, a cocktail of barbiturates to put patients into a coma lasting up to 39 days, while also administering electroconvulsive therapy. Bailey likened the treatment to switching off a television, his self-developed theory was that the brain, by shutting down for an extended period, would unlearn habits that led to depression, addiction, and other psychiatric conditions. Bailey claimed to have learned DST from psychiatrists in Britain and Europe, though it was later found that only a mild variant was used there, sedating traumatized ex-soldiers for a few hours at a time not the median 14 days under which Bailey and his colleague Dr. John Heron subjected their 1,127 DST patients at Chelmsford between 1963 and 1979. The resultant scandal broke in the early 1980s, following two 60 Minutes programs in 1980 and 1982, and Chelmsford was closed down entirely. In 1985, the legal and medical investigative machinery finally coordinated their actions and Bailey was facing committal proceedings over the death of Miriam Podio in 1977. The Chelmsford Royal Commission, under the Griner government, 
from 1988 to 1990, headed by Justice John Slattery of the New South Wales Supreme Court, produced findings concerning Chelmsford's treatment program that ran to 12 volumes and included deplorable conditions, fraud and misconduct and medical negligence. Bailey committed suicide by ingesting barbiturates at Mount White. He left a suicide note, let it be known that the Scientologists and the forces of madness have won. The Citizens Commission on Human Rights, a front group of the Church of Scientology, had been active in publicizing the scandal. The government then banned the treatment and instigated stricter guideline governing the administration and the care of mental patients. Deep Sleep Therapy Chelmsford Investigation Death 